Welcome back. This week's earnings reports reflected the artificial intelligence effect with companies like Pure Storage and C3AI getting a boost from data-driven consumption and others getting left out. Today, John takes time out with a founder whose company is providing storage technology to support it. Yeah, Morgan, uh, Garima Kapoor is co-founder uh, of MinIO. It's a company that specializes in software for storing massive amounts of unstructured data. The Series B startup scored a billion-dollar valuation when it announced that round two years ago. Garima, whose background is in finance, grew up in India and didn't start thinking like an entrepreneur until she moved to the Bay Area and got immersed in Silicon Valley culture. The priority uh, growing up was never inculcated in me as compared to, you know, my brother who was growing up that, no, you need to go earn. So that was never the topic for me. For me, always the discussions around the dinner table was always about you need to study, do well in school. And that was the end of it. There was never what, what do you do after school? So that was always the case, even though I was a really good student. And uh, I think what uh, changed uh, for me, quite honestly, was coming to Bay Area. I think that was kind of a switch that happened within me. And uh, once you are in Bay Area, I think you're surrounded by so much of talent, so much of thinking and, you know, thinking big. Uh, Kapoor's co-founders include Harsh Avardhana and Kapoor's husband, Anand Babu Pariyasamy. Uh, and now, with the data rush that's being driven by corporate migration to the cloud, her priority this year is scaling the company globally. You know, Minayu, when we found it, we just started with one simple hypothesis that we wanted to be AWS S3 for the rest of the world. And that has been our focus since day one. And that's what we exceed in. And if you see other competitors in this, case, in, in this space, they are trying to be file system. They are trying to be uh, uh, legacy protocols as well as object storage. So I think there is a difference when you build systems from scratch to address the modern workloads rather than retrofitting it to uh, it to address the newer workloads. So I think that is where the real differentiation lies. So the timeout takeaway, Morgan, consumption pays. We've seen a number of companies shift their revenue models in recent quarters because of the cloud and AI transition. Their customers want to pay as they go as they try this new technology. And that's giving investors an interesting direct insight into the adoption curve and how it's inflecting as we see revenues move in closer step than usual with usage. It takes me back to your candy bar <laughs> metaphor from last year. Uh, exactly. On Snowflake because they have a consumption model. Exactly. All right. Great stuff, John.